Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to talk to you about the rank grind. I'm talking to you about uh, my Modern League move. If you're new to my channel, I play Splinterlands daily. I've earned through this amazing blockchain-based video game and I cover it regularly. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. But for those of you who know me, I've been trying to make the move from wild into modern and that's because the SBS payouts are significantly higher in modern. But today I want to talk about a big setback for me in that effort. And so if you, that, sound, that sounds interesting, stick around, stay tuned. Let's get into it. So first of all, the town hall this week was insightful. And there was some bits in there that I think are relevant to this conversation. But I wanted to share today where I'm at in my now three season long effort to make a move into, into I think it's three seasons, maybe it's just two full seasons, to make a move into modern. And ever since they've tweaked what they you know how the rewards change and the they've they've continued to modify it's two full seasons now that i think about it 20 rp per win 40 if you get a win streak um the no no more official unofficial leagues these changes have made it interesting to move to modern because there's sps buffs glint buffs uh in modern but here's the problem i can't compete there and I don't know if it's bots or battle helpers. I think it's probably both, to be honest. But whatever the reason, I can't climb meaningfully. And even if there's a multiplier available for me in modern, you know, two times zero is still zero, if you know what I mean. Like I add a multiplier to my glint rewards in modern and it just doesn't matter. You know, this win here, 36 hours ago, Gold League 2. And this is the best I've been able to achieve. Like, it's it's tough. And I have reasons and thoughts around why it's been so tough. And I have feedback that comes back to the town hall that I think speaks into this, this issue that I want to get to. But first, let me show you the data. If we look at the fact that I won here and I got 262 glint, and I got 5.5 .5 SPS. 5.5 .5 SPS is great, but 250 glint is not nearly close enough. At the end of season rewards, we're going to get twice whatever we earn during the regular season. And glint really matters. If you want draws, if you want titles, if you want in the town hall, Matt talked about maybe promo cards that you'll be able to buy with glint and only glint. Man, glint matters. And some people are talking about how glint is not a meaningful reward. They want to get paid something that matters. Glint doesn't matter. I just go, nope, I don't agree with you at all. Glint to me is very significant. And I want more of it. If you don't want any of it, okay, fine. But I do. And 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 so for that reason, I come over here and I look at my wild performance and I'm at champ two. And I, I can and I have been champ one. It's helpful for me to pull out some of my... I've got quite a few of my cards on land but if i rent a few summoners we just pump right up into, into champ one but check this out this is my last win oh that was a brawl let's go ahead and let's pull up a rank battle victory okay wild ranked 4260 was my rp there now on this one i'm gonna win and i got 575 glint that's more than double what I was getting in gold two of modern. And that's a gigantic difference that I cannot overcome, especially when I remember the fact that in the end of season rewards are going to be double whatever glint I accumulated and earned through the regular season. So for every time I get 520, I'm actually getting triple that. For every time I get paid 250 from a win, I'm getting triple that, which is it's so much less glint and the SPS is meaningful. Like there's a, there's a loss over here. So I'm getting five and a half, six glint in gold. I'm getting three, three and a half, four glint or sorry, three and a, three and a half, four SPS in champ two. You might say, well, you know, what's more important SPS, which is liquid or glint, which is, you know, not. And, you know, for one thing, the SPS is meaningful at three and a half per win. So it's not like it's nothing. And then second of all, yes, it's significantly less, but I also am able to automate with Xbot. And for those are two, so the rewards are pretty substantial and the glint is way better. So it's like this picture of when I compare one to the other, 
the reward structure in its fullness, as well as the time consumption that is limited for me when I operate an Xbox in Wild, it's a, it just leaves me in a place of, okay, if this is what the numbers are, and if this is how Glint is going to work, and if Modern is too difficult to climb, then I'm going to stay in mo Wild. I just, like every every battle I fight in Modern, and I just spin my tires 30, 38, sorry, 2380, 2400, 2380, 2420, 20, 2380. And I just spin my tires, man, up one step forward, two steps back, one step forward, two steps back. And I well, truly, I'm just standing still. I'm just stuck at 2400. That's that's the real reality, and so that's the problem. That's the those are the numbers, and that's what I'm doing. I'm sticking in my wild. But now I just want to spend a couple minutes talking to how I think this might be this issue might be moved forward by Matt and the team. And this is referencing some of the stuff they talked about in the town hall. Matt talked about how they are moving forward really soon. I think it was next Tuesday with implementing some of their own accounts that will create automated that will that Archmage will partner with them and they'll run bots in uh, in in Splinterlands. And I think the modern league is going to fill out because of even a few of those accounts running and doing that. Now, a few key points. Those will be real cards that the team will own and put to work on those accounts. So that's really cool from a, the perspective of card liquidity, card scarcity, and potentially if this is something that gets multiplied, maybe this has an impact on card pricing. That's one interesting little tidbit or consideration. A second angle I want to look at here is that they're not going to get any earnings whatsoever. And that's great from the perspective of they're not taking from the liquidity pool, the payout pool. You and me are not going to have diminished rewards because of their participation. But in fact, we should have improved rewards because this, if there's more liquidity, let me make the case of who I'm fighting. If I'm in gold and I have a max, pretty well max modern set with like a pretty decent rebellion set and a pretty decent rift watcher set, I have I have an excellent deck and I am stuck in gold. Now, part of that is talent, but part of that is the fact that my card selection is imperfect. And also because if to be the best of the best within Splinterlands in the modern league, you need to have a perfect Rift Watcher set, perfect chaos, perfect rebellion set, all the best promos. That's not me. I have most of that though. I have an amazing soulbound set as well. So the distinction between good and amazing is actually several thousand dollars. But then also a certain amount of talents, of course. But the difference between gold and champion is supposed to be not just a few cards. And yes, it is several thousand dollars worth of cards, probably three, four thousand dollars worth of cards. But man, a lot of cards. Think, think historically, we saw level six summoners holding you up in gold. Now it's like, you need level eight to compete in gold. That's not because, that's not exactly because of the rank battle changes. It's because of lack of match liquidity. This is the point I wanna land on. I think them implementing new bot accounts that give us new match liquidity, especially if they're geared just toward sort of anchor points that, you know, picture bronze, gold, uh, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, specific level decks. Picture level two summoners running around in bronze, level four running around in silver, level six in gold, and level eight in in, um, in uh, diamond or champ. And that that distinction could become an anchor point that creates this mechanism that that ultimately allows more people to find ceilings at lower levels, silver, gold, bronze, wherever you belong. And for those who, who are like me, who have better than gold decks and probably better than average performance, but not better than the 100 people above me, these guys are excellent, the best of the best. I'm saying we will win more and we will hold our ground at whatever level 
actually make sense. I'm thinking, I'm wondering, I'm, I'm expecting. This is a speculation, but it's a hope that I'm that I'm that I'm imagining. So they're, they're not going to take any rewards from us. They're going to increase the match liquidity, which allows us to play more often. It's going to be probably easier to beat them and to lose to them, which means two things. One, if you're stuck in gold, you might be able to sort of use them to claw into diamond where you maybe belong. I'm that's my vision and my hope for myself. I think probably in modern I don't really belong in champ and there's too many three card, four card mana cards that I don't own. And they make a big distinction in a lot of the the rule sets and and mana caps. But I think the new match liquidity and the new Archmage partnership and the bots that they're, they're going to come that, that that play and create match liquidity but don't take anything are going to be a meaningful part of how we find a true equilibrium within the modern league. My hope is that that changes something. And if that changes something, I might reverse my whole plan within this in this video and, and actually come back to modern and focus on playing here first and foremost. But I just cannot make that choice when I have to spend my all of my own time. I have to rent lots of key cards, which cost me money. I end up uh, losing significantly and playing in gold. And my rewards end up being, at least for Glenn, half of what they could be in wild. And then with SPS, sure, it's more meaningful to play in modern, but not I'll, not if I get stuck in gold, not, not, not so much so that I have to make that move and I have to spend that time daily. 24 battles a day, if I play personally, is a lot of time. If I let the bot play and I get, let's say, 66% of my potential rewards from SPS and I put in no time effort, you see, that has to be factored in. And so we're sticking in wild, we're, we're going to maximize as best we can those victories in that time and that extraction. And I'm going to enjoy that process playing when I, I'm capable of doing so. But modern, I'm going to just keep my eye on because I think this one change might really help if we don't constantly run into the top 100 because those are the only people playing, then maybe we have that chance to climb. And I think the match liquidity that comes from bots are going to be tiered at you know the various levels bronze, silver, gold, diamond is probably going to be more of a ladder or an infrastructure on which the rest of us can really build our rank experience. I hope so. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And I just hope that you guys have an amazing day. God bless.